Hello and uh, welcome to Avada News. Today we are going to talk about uh, limited editions. Limited editions are these boxes with this gold and black band on the boxes and on the uh, cigars and the year here. So if you have seen the video I made on regional editions, on regional editions it's silver and red and there is no year. Uh, there is instead a, a location, it can be a region or a country. Uh, in this case, limited editions, Edition Limitada, black and gold, you have the year, except for the year 2000, it's the year it started. Uh, they didn't know it was going to be every year, but since uh, it sold very well, it was a very good idea, they decided to continue. So Edition Limitada 2000 doesn't have the year on it, it started in 2001. Uh, I was lucky to start collecting cigars in 2000, so I very quickly understood that uh, the cigars were uh, selling very fast. Uh, of course, I didn't know they were going to do it uh, each year. Uh, obviously, after one or two years, I understood that. Uh, one particularity is that the uh, tobacco is aged. Before 2007, the tobacco, the wrapper on it, the outside of the cigar, uh, the very, very mo the most delicate uh, leaf used uh, to make the wrapper was used was aged for two years. Uh, now it's the whole uh, binder, filler, and wrapper that are aged since two thousand and seven for two years. As a comparison, the Reserva cigars are aged for th the tobacco is aged for three years and the Grand Reserva for five years. Of course, I'm going to make uh, uh, some videos about the reserves and the Grand Reserves. So it started in 2000. Uh, usually it's about three uh, limited editions per annum. Sometimes it's uh, one, sometimes it's five. It depends, of course. I uh, would uh, remind, remind people that uh, cigars are made of leaves. Leaves are an agricultural product. And um, I visited Cuba in uh, 2002 for the first time. And what happened in 2002, there, there was a huge hurricane. Everything was on the floor. The trees were on the floor. Uh, it was held there. And in 2002, they didn't make uh, limited editions. Um, for whatever reason, they didn't have enough uh, leaves and enough wrappers. So you really need uh, all the products um uh, you know all the binder the the uh, wrapper and the um filler uh, to make a cigar if something is missing you can't make it um so um in general they uh, use uh the uh, major brands uh to do the um cigars of course i'm going to um show you um the list uh, of the uh, limited edition cigars made um, in the description. So, as you know, you have global brands, value brands, volume brands, and other brands. Uh, maybe it's worth making a video out of that. It's a very strange way to um, organize the brands, but it is the way that Abanos has uh, chosen. So, the global brands are the major brands. Cohiba, H. Upman, Hoyo de Monterrey, Monte Cristo, Badagas, and Romeo and Julieta. Then you have the value brands, uh, the Bolivar, Punch, Ramon, Ayones, and Trinidad. Uh, as you know, Trinidad now is considered as a luxury brand with Coiba. And then you have the volume brand, Vegueros, Quintero, uh, Jose Alpiedra. Um, uh, Quintero and Jose Alpiedra are machine made cigars, Vegueros. Uh, and some of them are even fillers, uh, short fillers. Vegaros is a uh, handmade cigars and uh, uh, using long fillers. So I would highly recommend Vegaros cigars, especially um, uh, if you don't want to spend a, a fortune and you like to smoke more than one cigar a day, like me. Uh, and then you have the other brands. These are about th these are these brands are sometimes called uh, neglected brands. They don't have many cigars, uh, they're a bit forgotten, but sometimes they come back and they used to make uh, original editions. They don't have many um, uh, Vitolas in the standard production and they use them for the uh, original uh, editions. Um, 
and um, so in uh, since the beginning in 2000 there were 69 limited edition uh, cigars made up to 2022 um, I'm going to uh, talk to you about the different brands of course okay the most common was the Patagas uh, out of 69 there were 11 Patagas cigars uh, made used for the limited edition then uh, it's uh, Monte Cristo and Romeo and Julieta number two uh, ex uh, with 10 then it's uh, Oyo and Cohiba with 8 uh, then H.J. Upman with 6 then we have Ramon and Trinidad and Bolivar with 4 limited editions and then we have Punch with 2 and Kedosi with 1 and Cuaba with 1 um, so uh, I think it's important interesting uh, to see that it's uh, Patagas that had that was chosen to make the most uh, limited uh, edition and there were only 69 limited editions made um, as you can uh, see here I have some uh, Topes uh, Topes 2016 a beautiful cigar um, <laughs> What is frustrating, just to, to let you know, it was a 2016 cigar. Uh, you have the price here, 165 euros. A box of toppers now um, is cost a lot more than that. So the uh, the price increase of uh, limited edition is tremendous. Um, and I'm going to uh, talk about this. Uh, I'm preparing something. Uh, about prices, about price increase and price uh, studies. This is a limited edition 2015, the H.F. Upman Magnum 56. It was so strong, so strong um, when um, it, it first came out. And now the cigar starts to uh, uh, be a bit more mellow uh, and uh, soft, I mean soft, easier to... Um, to smoke it was really really hot a very tough strong cigars in uh, uh, 2015 magnum 56 from H. Upman. Um, so um, I think I've already um, given you all the um, information um, I have or I, I, I know about the uh, limited editions uh, I'm going to put a link um in the description about the uh, different cigars made uh, if you have any question um, of course uh, you can write uh, to us you can also look at cuban cigar website uh, it's the best source of information um, especially uh, regarding past um, uh, cigars or um, special releases everything is there and uh, there is a book uh, written by Alexander Groom, who uh, runs um, Cuban Cigar website now, and I'm really looking forward to um, to this book. So uh, check for it, look for it, and um, get it because um, uh, knowing Alexander is going to be a great, great book, great information, great pictures. I know he's worked a lot, a lot on this. Um, so we cigar aficionados, we need to show uh, the respect. Uh, for the hard work uh, done and we must get this uh, book. Uh, let me know if you have any question again and I will speak to you soon. Goodbye.